welcome to Calkine Conversations with me, Santa. As we know that one industry that has gained pace during the pandemic is healthcare, and people are becoming more and more conscious about their health and taking pains to remain fit. And to discuss this, today we have Mrs. Stephen O'Hara, the CEO of Opti Biotech's Health PLC. Opti Biotech's Health is an England-based developer of products that treat obesity, high cholesterol, diabetes, and are into skin care. It's a top-notch life science company, and Opti Biotech believes that everything they do is underpinned by strong science, backed by human studies, and supported by key opinion leaders, allowing them to deliver quality ingredients and superior white-label food and supplement solutions. So, without any much ado, let's start with Calkine Conversations with Mr. Stephen Ara. Welcome to the show, Stephen. It's good to see you again. Well, Stephen, as we know that the most important thing in today's era is weight management. And this is one area that needs a lot of attention, especially amid pandemic as people are staying at home and working long hours. So how can one address this issue? I think it's a very good question and uh, it's been exacerbated as you say in a pandemic because people are staying at home, they're more sedentary, not going out so much and they're probably snacking more during the, the day because they've got more access to their, their home fridge than they would in, a, in an office environment and it is quite a, a big um, global problem uh, and if you break it down in terms of the science and ask the question why do people put on weight it's because they're taking more calories than they use. Okay. And part of the challenge is that um, we have a lot of highly calorific foods, uh, particularly high, high sugar foods, and those high sugar foods tend to um, produce cravings uh, and they're easy to access and they tend to be quite low cost. You know, a, a, a cost of a McDonald's burger can be 50, 60 pence. Um, and so it's easy to access and um, as I say, quite a low cost. So what people have to do is either um, to expend more calories by exercising more, and that has benefits above and beyond weight management, so highly recommended, but has to, they have to control their, their eating. That's not just about reducing calories, although that's a big part of it, but eating more healthily. What we've tried to do with an optibiotics is look at it in quite a, a scientific way and say, well, why can't people do that? Because people have known this is the, the problem for many, many years. And part of the reason for it is that, you know, as I touched on earlier, there's lots of highly calorific foods and it's quite difficult to control your hunger with these foods around and quite difficult to control your snacking. So what we've tried to create a, a product that one, control hunger, okay, so stop you from being hungry, and secondarily, stop you from having cravings for high sugar foods. And so the science would support that a sensible approach to managing weight management, exercise um, and reducing calories with support products that can help you to um, manage your, your weight more by reducing your hunger and controlling your, your cravings. So you have a sustainable weight management program. It becomes part of your lifestyle. And that's the approach that we've taken with our range of products. Well, that's absolutely right. And most of us do have a very sedentary and laid back life these days, as you just mentioned. And snacking is definitely something that is obviously unavoidable when you're working from home and that pack of crisps is just a grab away. So how can one make these small bites healthy? Yeah, sure. So there's no harm in, in snacking. Uh, the key and you know, the, what you'd hope that people would do is snack on fruit um, or maybe a, a carrot or some vegetables, which is not so much about the, um, the snacking, it's about the type of snacks that people take. Uh, and what we want to do is move people away from, as I alluded to earlier, those highly calorific sugar-based um, snacks. Because if you're a bit like me, if you have a chocolate bar, then you you know you have a craving for more, and it's very difficult to have one piece of chocolate. You know, if you're like me, you want the box of chocolates because of those those cravings. And so what you have to do is move people away from high calorific, high um, carbohydrate, high sugar products to snacks that have um, ingredients with them that are healthy. So have high amounts of fiber, 
um, have um, low amounts of sugar and potentially a number of, um, of vitamins or ingredients that can help you to sustain health. So it's a type of snack that you take. And in our particular case, what we've done is created those particular um, snacks. We've added our functional ingredients. So this is the ingredient Slim Biome that we use to reduce hunger and to reduce cravings for, um, for, for, for sweet foods in particular. So snacking is not wrong. It's the actual type of snack that you, um, uh, you take. We need to move people towards more healthy snacking. And that's all part of creating a sustainable um, lifestyle that sustains weight um, and, and a healthy diet. Absolutely. Most of us cannot stop at that one block of chocolate and healthy snacking is certainly one should opt for, like you rightly mentioned. And on that note, what are the main health concerns that you feel need attention right now and what can one do about it? So there's a, a range of areas. So it, you need, we look at things very analytically and you, you have to look at those health issues that cause the greatest morbidity and mortality. So if you look at those areas, the, the, the area that causes the biggest amount of morbidity and mortality is cardiovascular health, so heart disease. Um, the other areas, and we touched on a couple of them, are obesity and also diabetes. So these are substantive areas that cause um, tremendous um, mortality and obesity around the, around the world. And again, it's back to what we were saying earlier. It's about um, having a healthy diet because more and more is known about the impact of, um, of the diet on, on health. So you are what you eat. We'll come back to that later, maybe in terms of some discussions on the microbiome, which is really starting to open up our understanding of the relationship between what we eat and, and who we are and what we, what we become. Um, but those are the main health concerns. And what you're finding is that, as many people know, if we take um, cardiovascular health, there's statins have been around for a long period of time. If we take um, obesity and diabetes, diet has been around for a period of time. What we try to do with some of our, our products is create functional ingredients. So these ingredients that help you to reduce your cholesterol. So we have a probiotic that helps to reduce um, cholesterol. We have a functional uh, weight management ingredient called Slim Biome that helps you to um, reduce uh, your hunger and your cravings. And also quite interestingly, it reduces your glycemic um, response. So typically if you're taking a high sugar um, product, where it's a snack or say a, a main meal, or typically a, a high sugar beverage, you get a sugar surge. That sugar surge leads to a an increase in the insulin in the body that um, is produced. It reduces the amount of sugar. It goes beneath the baseline and you get cravings for more and more sugar. And that creates the cravings. So what we've been able to find is that our products like um, Slim Biome can stop those cravings um, and reduce that sugar surge. So there's quite a lot of good science now developing in, the, in this area. A lot of it based around um, the use of you know, more functional ingredients, pre and probiotics that impact in a number of ways, functional ways to reduce um, cholesterol, to reduce these sugar surges and to um, help you manage weight. And all, they're all based around the, um, around the microbiome. Stephen, because you mentioned about microbiome, the human microbiome is forecast to become one of the world's fastest growing areas. Now, can you explain the concept to our listeners of what microbiome is and how it really works? Yeah, sure. So if I start, first of all, with some definitions, so um, the, the body's made up of lots of cells, okay? And when you break those cells down, 90% of the cells are microbial cells and 10% of the body are human cells. So we have a lot more microbial cells in our body, in our gut and on our skin than we do human cells. Now those human cells and those microbial cells contain genes. Those genes produce proteins and enzymes. So the, the concept of the microbiome is, well, now, since most of your body is made up of microbial cells, can you change those microbes in a targeted way? In doing so, change the um, uh, the proteins they, they produce and the enzymes they produce to control metabolism and control physiology. Now, I've been involved in this area for probably about 30 years. Um, I did a lot of work in Russia many years or so ago on um, on using fecal transplants to take use feces on people to improve their, their health. 
And a lot of this work has been developed in, in animals. And I'll give you some interesting early experiments on animals, which have subsequently moved on to be shown to be impactful on humans. A lot of the early experiments were based around, um, uh, around rodents, around uh, mice and rats. So if you take a, an example of a, a fat mouse, um, mice eat their own feces. So if you have a fat mouse, what they found, if you take the feces from a fat mouse and feed it to a thin mouse, that thin mouse goes fat. Is quite interesting. Also, and probably more importantly in the um, in the discussion we're having today, if you take the feces from a thin mouse and feed that to a fat mouse, that fat mouse goes thin. So the science would suggest that by taking um, the the feces, which contains all these microbes um, from um, from mice, you can actually change their phenotype. You can actually make a fat mouse thin and a thin mouse fat. So that's quite intriguing. So the question then is, can you do the same in humans? And there's lots of studies in humans which show a similar effect. Now, you can't really sell feces, okay? So people won't really um, buy, buy feces. Although fecal transplants now have become very, very common ar around the world, particularly for diseases like Clostridium dif difficile, which is a, a, a gut disorder. But if we focus very much on, on the diseases mentioned earlier, cardiovascular health, diabetes, uh, obesity, a lot more science has come forward where you can actually target particular microbes in the gut, target the microbiome, to change the microbiome to improve your cardiovascular health, to improve your gut health and impact upon obesity and diabetes. And they're the areas that we spend a lot of work, oh, a lot of money, millions of pounds of investment in creating products that do change the microbiome and our impact upon those areas. Thank you for letting our listeners know about Microbium and its impact. Well, if I may ask, how has the pandemic changed your life as a leader of a life science company and how are you gearing up for the future? So we, you know, you're right, it, it's changed people's lives um, forever in a whole range of ways. How, how we view infectious diseases, um, um, how we um, how we work, um, how we purchase products. So it's changed it in a, a, a number of ways, although it's probably fair to say that we, we've been working the way that people are working now in terms of working from from home uh, and um, not having a, a central office. We've been working that way for the last you know, eight, 10 years or so. So we have a small team of, um, of scientists who largely work from home, but who we contract in, in, in universities, we contract in contract research organizations, we contact in, in, in groups who carry out clinical studies in pen of us, we work with key opinion leaders. So we reduce our, our cost base and we focus very much uh, our, our, um, our funds on developing technologies and creating differentiation from those technologies out there already to have a functional impact upon human health. So we're a long way down the path that others are, are now following. And we have a global footprint. So we work across the world. Um, you know, we work in um, in the US, we work in India, we work in Australia, New Zealand. And if you take, for example, today, we're having a conversation over a Zoom, other people use Microsoft Teams, and we've been working that way for the last you know, five, six years or so. So you know, it, it, it has changed the way that we, we work, but not to the extent that maybe it has changed the way that other companies have, have worked. Um, and we have, as I, as I said earlier, very much utilised technology to the benefit of, um, um, of our company, but probably more importantly, to the benefit of, um, of, our, of our customers. Would you like to share any closing remarks with our listeners? Well, first of all, I wish them all good health. And then it's about trying to see how we can maintain that or create that, that good health. It's all about, as I touched on earlier, making sure you, fun you, you focus very much on what you eat and you um, have a healthy lifestyle in terms of uh, exercise. Um, and I recognize that you know, trying to reduce how much you eat and what you eat is very difficult. But what you need to be looking at is those functional ingredients, those ingredients that can help you to have a, a to help you help yourself, to help you have a, a healthy lifestyle. And um, I'd recommend that you look at some of the science on our on our website, uh, Optivatic website. Look at some of our products, Slim Biome and LPLDL. These are all designed to uh, very much impact upon what we call the chronic lifestyle diseases, so obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular health, and to help you help yourself. And you know, good luck in that um, that quest, and hope you have a a, a very healthy um, um, life. And um, and, and look forward to 
going through uh, having more interviews in the future to discuss uh, other areas. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with the listeners today, Mr. Aura, and letting us know about the importance of having healthy lifestyle, healthy snacking, weight management, obesity, microbiome, and the science around it, and much more. Thank you so much. And to know more about OptiBiotics, please log on to their website, that is www.optibiotics.com. Thank you for your time, Mr. Aura. Thank you very much. Well, to listen to our podcast again, please log on to our website or you may log on to our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications on latest videos and podcasts. Until we see you next with yet another insightful episode of Calkine Conversations, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.